Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 22. We pick it up from turn 96 in the harvest season of the year 209. So last episode, uh, big thing is we made Liu Bei our vassal. And uh, we basically give up a lot of land to do that. But he is now um, our buffer zone. As we have to wrap up the battles in the north first. Before we can turn our full attention to the south to wipe out the last kingdom of Wu, uh, Lü Bu also have to clear up the area around uh, Xiangyang's uh, emperor seat just so that it's safe. These are small fries. Xia uh, Houdun has an army over here, so we get to fight Cao Cao's army a little bit uh, in this episode as well. We'll drag him in and uh, wipe out these forces here. Uh, other than that, there's a few more things to note. Um, at the end of yesterday's episode i noticed that we have uh was not here we had it before we have a new character in court is what i'm trying to say and that character is sima yi now obviously we're going to grab him uh there is a chance he is a spy uh because from what i can see he worked for cao cao for a year and left now most likely he left because cao cao can't keep him satisfied which is often the case because he's high level and he is um, ambitious, I think is one of his traits. Yep. So it's hard to keep him happy. Now, our court is very messed up right now because of the empire uh, change. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the risk and uh, dissolve our empire. We made an empire for fun after we got the new patch changes. And now I'm kind of regretting it because of what happened afterward. So we're going to talk to the Han no, Empire. Please. And we're going to dissolve our empire with them. I don't think... I don't think it's going to do anything to our vassals. I, I hope not. But we're just going to dissolve our empire now. So if we take a look at groupings again... We... Oh man, we do, did we actually lose... Ah, uh, we didn't lose the vassals. Phew. Let's check. Okay, we didn't lose the vassals. I was scared for a second. Okay. So we still have the vassals. That's basically all I want. I don't want to marry him off or her off. Um, we're still very friendly with them. We could try to vassalize them. That's basically... Hansui is still alive? 65 and kicking. My god. Uh... How much is it to vassalize them? Not very much. Uh, we could try to get this done. Right, that's a simple simple thing right there. So we'll try to vassalize the High Empire again. But hopefully next turn when the game updates, it'll return to the regular court screen and we can actually assign uh, characters and we can keep Sima Yi, who I'm going to just recruit right now. I don't think he'll abandon us right away. I, I hope we have enough satisfaction boost to keep him slightly happy for at least a turn before we can give him a government job never mind he's at zero how bad is it 14 point difference okay we can give him well that's plus five satisfaction on that sword is there a higher one plus eight on this uh but it's kind of a waste for the set bonus we can give him just a random item for six points I don't think there's anything here that can help him. I guess we'll just have to give him a few promotions. It's going to cost us intimidation to do this. We can't just hire him and let him leave. Yeah, there's nothing we can do but to do this, I think. Which is fine. It's going to hurt our economy a little bit. And then we are at 7 points. It's going to drop. I might do it again. Alright, just to be safe. I don't want to lose him after hiring him. Alright, so we have some IE now. Uh, once our court returns to normal, hopefully by next turn, uh, we can give him a proper position and he can stay and be happy. Alright, Jasu leveled up. I'm not sure if I want him to get reach. Uh, he's still kicking at 66, doing much better than your brother. But I'm assuming you're going to die soon too. We'll give you Unbreakable for now. And we'll take a look at Jasu's army. Xiao Jie, 
Does not have reach. Okay, so you're gonna get reach. And you're gonna lead this army. And we're gonna fight Cornwall's army. So there's a lot of fighting. We'll get our intimidation back up. We can probably cohere um, the High Empire back into our grasp as well. So let's see. Where do we want to start fighting? Over here, we're taking the ambush route. Waiting for... Um, I think there's an army over here. Yuan Shao has another army. Not sure, but I don't want to run into it. So we're just gonna wait. We'll fight them first. Okay, we have the superior force, but they don't think we can win. We can definitely night battle this. We don't need the garrison to come to help us. That way we eliminate all this reinforcement. Even though there's a trebuchet here too, but it's already beaten up. So preferably night battle. Yeah, our trebuchet is a bit injured. Yeah, but I think we got this. Let's start this fight. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Uh, trebuchet versus trebuchet is a little bit nasty. We have to probably pull back a little bit just to give us some space. I assume they'll still charge at us. We can hide behind this forest area, I think. Although, it's going to hurt our range units. Maybe we can just create an angle to make it a little bit difficult for their trebuchets to start off firing at us. Right, if we start here, we're out of range, so it's not that bad. Alright, okay, let's do this. No, 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 we want that. We need our cavalry to... We can do a few things with our cavalry. We can hide them. Uh, send one out to absorb some missile damage from the trebuchet. That's always an option. And then these guys can come out and join the fight a bit later after they commit to our front line. Keep it pretty simple here. If the enemy generals come, we'll fight them. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, deployables. We get towers. Great. Um, we're going to put them in the back. And we're going to put some fire. Huh. We can only deploy them in our deployable zone. Well... I'm going to put them here. And then for spikes, I actually think I want to put one spike. Like, I just want to protect my rear. It's been quite a often that enemy cavalry flank us from the back. This will stop that. Um, I'm going to depend on my charge negate infantry to stop the frontal charge. They don't have that many cavalry, by the way, so it doesn't really matter. Let's start. Let's get this guy moving. Their trebuchet should be able to commit to it. Right. You can see when it moves. The fire. They have flaming shot too. Fancy. You can see whenever the bar. So you pick a direction. Whenever the bar drops. That means they're firing. You just shift the direction. See it drop. So you just shift the direction after the drop. And there's no way they hit you. Because the AI is trying to time your, you know, your direction and your speed. So they're preemptively firing forward. And if you change directions, they can't hit you. Once he runs out of the ammo, the entire advantage goes to us. There we go. Nine, nine ammo's left. They're just shifting towards this unit. Cause it's the only unit they see. They're not, they're not firing. There we go. We shifted a little early, but that's fine. He almost got killed. 
I want them to shift towards our army. That's what I want to do. We might get hit. This one, we might get hit. Yep. Ooh, three people died. That's actually more than I thought. It's okay. It's not fair if we just kite out all the shots. We'll let them hit us a couple times. His reload speed is much slower than I thought. It's forever for him to fire off one more shot. He might be tilting right now, though. That might be the reason why. He's trying to track us. He's just not... Yeah, he's trying to tilt the machine. That's why he's not firing. Because we're at a weird angle. As long as he has ammo, the army's not going to charge at our army. Because in the AI mind, we have the same range set up. Ooh, we're within crossbow range. That's too close. Well, I guess only three machines turned over so far. Alright, the second ones are firing. Ooh. Now, how can we get them to come over here? Well, I guess the solution is we wait till they finish firing. We'll go a little faster. They're actually hitting us pretty well. Two more shots. One more. There we go. They're done. Alright, so now they should start coming. I'll fire one off so they know we're here. No? They won't charge at us? No way. We have to charge at them? Yes? No? Hmm. This is unexpected. I'm just going to move my trebuchets up by themselves for a little bit. I don't want to leave this 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 position. What will probably happen is that um, we'll get them to start charging at us once they see our tribuchet can hit them, and then we'll just tell the men to abandon the machines after a certain point. There we go. Here they come. Here they come. All right, we'll slow it down. I can't micro that fast. Alright, so we want to get good shots. We also want their units to follow our cavalry into this trap over here. We'll have fire arrows to activate. Alright, we'll run them over here. We'll have him shoot fire arrows to activate these. I mean, their army is really bad quality. We gotta start taking out the, the other units. Here they come. Nope, not right now. I don't want to fight Sentinels. They'll just make this long battle longer. Alright, we're going to start lighting these on fire. For their safety, we're just going to pull them back. I don't want to lose any men. They need to go kill those tribuchet units. Run back. Light up the other one as well. They took pretty heavy loss for this fight. 
Alright, that's good. Go back to regular shots. Yep, we just sit pretty, watch them die. Um, can we have focus fire on these archers who are actually doing damage to us? Here comes the sentinels. We can't kill this one general? Oh, come on. Let's kill her first. Alright, I think it's over now. We're just gonna play clean out the battlefield, chase for a little bit, and then end this fight. Assuming they'll give us the victory. Oh, he rallied back. They all rallied back. Oh, they're trying to kill Jashu. Oh, sneaky. If that's the case... Alright, Jashu needs to get out. I don't want him to die. Alright, finally got the victory condition. Uh, we're just gonna chase for now. Actually, we don't need to chase. I think we're done. Let's just kill him victory. We can fight again for more intimidation. Alright, we took care of that fight. Ooh, we captured all three. Uh, we have a bunch of officers that we captured from last episode that we actually hired who we need to figure out what to do with them. These are Koron's men. I don't really need to peace out with him. That's just my excuse of wanting to kill this third person for her item. She's also the administrator of Beihai. Well, off with her head. We will release these two to have some goodwill. And also, I'm not so afraid of him. I'm kind of, mm, I'm kind of scared of him. Because he has the trebuchet. We could... Uh, we can release him. One trebuchet is not going to end the world. We will replenish because there's plenty of fighting left to do. Alright, we need to... Check our generals again. We have 48 characters. That's ridiculous. We picked up her, 25 year old, willing to spy, terrible traits, except for quiet, willing to spy. Okay, I see what we intend for her future. Burn officer, uh, we need to put her on the field somewhere. Does she have a hard, no, she doesn't have a hard retinue to put on the field. Uh, humble, charitable, obstinate. So he's a good battle general, or just to keep in general. 
A little bit of peasantry income. A little bit of public order. Has potential. We'll take the bow off him now. Alright, so we need to put her on the field. He looks terrible. Why did we recruit this guy? Hmm. I want to fire him. Okay, Feng Xi is going away. Zhang Ba. He's decent. He's two levels away from getting reach. And he's young. Alright, we'll keep him. She already has reach. Alright. We basically picked up a bunch of officers. Silver armor. We'll take that for now. Well, Fadron is still sitting on the bench. Well, now we have Sima Yi. We have a bunch of people sitting on the bench doing nothing. Uh, Sima Yi is also burnt, by the way. So, good for that. Um, Feng Xi. Feng Xi needs to go. We need our regular court back. We can also execute him for some additional um, intimidation. But we can't really afford the minus 10 satisfaction right now. So, just dismissal. How much movement do we have? Can we get another fight in with this army? Doesn't look like it. We have... Yeah, I think we might be done. Not that worried. We can pull back a little bit more. Yeah, safer this way. They still have this big target here. If they fight us, we can always retreat. Not a big issue. So the north is fine. The armies that's coming up here are kind of targeting Yuan Yao's town here. So it's buying us a little bit more time in Taiyuan. Especially since we have a garrison here. So I'm not too worried. They can always turn around anytime. Okay. Lü Bu's army. So, Sao Dun's right here. We're going to go fight him. Let's get vision of him. These two are definitely old time friends, aka rivals and nemesis. So we're going to pop him out. He's going to help us pop out the other burned officer. We're also going to pop out Sima Yi, might as well. This will also prevent him from leaving us. And then we'll recall him so they have movement. Get rid of these guys right here. Sima Yi has reach, right? No, nope, he doesn't. Okay. I don't really like mounted archers that much. Alright, perfect. So now they can get into this county to give Lu Bu two additional... Um, Burned buffs. Guo Jia has a third one. So three burned buffs minus 90% enemy ammo. Yeah, minus 90%. So Xiao Dun's army would have eight right now. Once they're in, probably have just a couple left. All right, we probably don't want night battle. I want to drag this army in. That way their tribuchet can't be in position for the fight um, because they have cunning. Uh, stat so they have some ammo left but for units that doesn't have really much cunning it's only 15% two, uh, two ammo left on Xiao Dun's that's great so we're gonna pick up this fight right here let's go all right we're loaded up in here we are on top of a mountain or a hill they have deployables the enemy have deployables Cool. Okay. I'm not sure if they'll charge at us just because... Oh, there's a bigger hill. Because the enemy have tribuchets in their army too. We'll see. Uh, we're still going to take the elevation here and use it. We're going to sit on top of this pretty little hill. Okay, so there's a big forest here. That we can light up on fire. The enemy is going to come. I think they're going to gather together and come this way though. Let's see. This is the edge of our hill. The terrain is really weird to be honest. Um, hmm. 
Let's put them here. We really need to switch these crossbow to uh, onyx dragons. This has been a weird campaign for me, just because we have been using uh, Dian Sword Guards rather than uh, Spear Guards, which is usually what I use. I'm going to try something different this time. We're going to have our Spear D Militia just guarding the flank, completely guarding the flank. And we're going to leave our left and right flank completely to Spikes. Although I think spikes only stop about one charge, but that's still fine. We really just need to slow down one charge. Fire. What to do about fire? Mm, I don't know how the enemy is going to approach us. We might have to move out of this position as well. But in case we don't move out, I'm just going to put them here. And I'm going to put towers here, towers here. Our cavalry is a little beaten up, but we're probably going to take this hill position. Now, I'm pretty sure the enemy's not going to see us over here at the beginning. Close relative, Othorn. He has the rival buff, but we don't. That's not fair. We're supposed to be rivals, I'm pretty sure. Well, at least we have our Othorn plus close relative buffs ready. It looks like they're just not moving. Oh no, they are moving. They see Lu Bu. I don't know how they see him, but they see him. We'll stand on top of the hill so everyone can see us. All right, I'm going to cut till everyone gets closer. It's going to be a while. So see you guys then. All right, guys, we're back. The enemy have gathered up. Uh, we're in cinematic mode, so we don't actually see any icons. But Lu Bu is sitting here on the hill so that the enemy can see where we are. And they have pretty much gathered up their forces. And they're approaching our uh, tribuchet range. So we'll be able to pound them uh, very soon. Their trebuchet is in the back. Uh, they're willing to move forward so we don't actually have to go harass it. Uh, it's going to be very slow getting into counter range. And we will by that time should have charged in to destroy it. We're going to send him in very soon. Uh, we're not going to reject any duels. If they want to fight us, we're okay. Uh, and the rivalry buff is cheating. They have an internal rivalry. So he has 25% extra boost in damage. Uh, simply because he and Malzia doesn't get along. So... That's the only reason. Other than that, they don't have any family relationship or Oathorn situations. So we can kill whichever general in whichever order. It doesn't really matter. Um, I also kind of regret not grabbing Sima Yi's army uh, into this fight. Because I remember Sima Yi has a skill where he uh, just blocks everyone else's skill usage. So that would have been really useful as well. Because uh, we can just block their hamstring. They can just never use their abilities. All right, let's uh, go a little bit faster so we can see them enter our range. They have a lot of men, but we can handle it. I also drop cow traps around the field. I left gaps where the cow traps are so that they come into the gap. They'll get slowed and hurt by it. Uh, purposely left the little gap right there. All right, we're going to slow things down and fire off some warning shots. Not sure if it's going to hit anyone, but we have 23 ammo and we're never going to fire all of them. Oh, we hit someone. 23. Not bad. Let's get another volley in. Now, it's not night battle, so their morale is pretty healthy. I'm just going to hit the densest part. Not really gonna care about unit quality of like what we're hitting. Because I don't think we can pinpoint them that hard. Now I'm gonna get Lu Bu to start rotating out because we need him to go kill the tribuchet. I'm 
I'm going to completely ignore their cavalry. I think we're well prepared for that. They have a lot of spear guards. Oh, some spear warriors, so cheaper alternative unit. Yeah, I think we're very prepared. We're going to have them ready to light fires. I think we lost vision just because they're downhill doesn't mean they're not here. We might see them once they pop out. Yeah, all their ranger units are going to be Rubo's toy. Ah, see, there they come. The angle is going to be weird. See, we probably can't hit them until they're above the hill anyway, so we might as well focus fire this section first. Alright, Rubo got that. No worries. Alright, let's take care of this group right here. That's a lot of cavalry though. Although I'm pretty sure not all of them is going to charge from the uh, left side. Some will try to flank back and we're ready for that this time. Pretty confident with the way we're defending this time. Let's hit this spot. Uh, decline. Definitely not dueling you. Alright, he's got to come back and kill some range units. Alright, these guys haven't even gotten hit yet. We'll let the crossbowmen hit our uh, shield wall, no problem. We're going to light it up. So from what the developers said, um, the AI is not supposed to see your... Oh, we uh, we hit ourselves. Crap. They're not supposed to see your uh, deployables. Decline for now. We'll fight you, but first got to take care of the range units. Later. Oh yeah, we're not microing very well. Uh, let's just auto. I got micro Lubu a little bit. Kill this general where we're at it. Actually, crossbow unit need to die first. Here they come. Let's see if they're dumb. Here they come. Yep, they're dumb. Alright, let's pull him out first. We'll let Sahodan have some fun first. Where's our cavalry? Right. Where is our cavalry? Oh. We got charged. We didn't even see that. I forgot we had horses. There we go. We just need to slow down their charge. And then we've got to just protect our tower. I don't think we'll see any cavalry from this side, so we're just going to come pull back this way. Lebo is dueling. Shouldn't be a problem. We can probably heal from this too. Alright, go kill him. Actually, we'll leave him for Lebo later. We can just sit pretty for a little bit. Right, Lebo already won. Can we get another duel? Alright, fight them. Is that holding? Let's go. Oh, he debuffed our armor. Uh, not so great. Might need to come buff him. Wisdom River really hurts. Alright, give him some melee evasion, lock down Sahodun's skill. Lebo, you can do this. You guys fought before. Oh, come on. Oh, we caught it. Mm. 
军仓皇逃窜，一群懦夫。准备就绪。Oh, we got him. What? Just this little bit of skill. We have almost no health left as well. We're also in the middle of cow traps. Line up. Ah, Liu Bu needs a break. Man worked hard. Our tribuche got wrecked. Well, they chased that way too far. Go kill them. Where's our cavalry doing? All right, they wiped out the enemy cavalry. Now we just gotta wipe out their other units. Right. So brave. How are they not routing? Negative sixty-two. Right. We'll leave them on the field. They want to charge us. They can charge us. All right. We don't want to charge into any of those guys. Grab the easy targets. Hmm, some of them still want to fight. We don't want to. Oh, there we go. If they're gonna rout, we're gonna fight. We're gonna chase them down. Are they routing yet? We can leave this way. We can go have some fun. He's stubborn. Does he have? He has unbreakable. All right. I mean, he's stepping on cow traps. We don't want to step on it too, so we're gonna let him come towards us. Form up. All right. He, oh, we won. We killed him. There we go. Um, I think I can afford to have the army on the field, so we're gonna just claim victory. All right, we've got another chance to stab him in the eye, but he still has two eyes. He hasn't had the one eye event yet. Anything else? Okay, useless item. We got Sa Holdun. He's not willing to work for us. He's fifty-three. Oh, he has the one eye event. Oh, he just got it because we stabbed him in the eye. I'll let him live. I want to fight him again. Uh, yeah, I'll let him live. It's unlike us. I like Sahodun as a character. Alright, we leveled up. Guo Jia leveled up. Hmm. Well, we already have Reach. We don't need him to learn it. We can get Guile for Gorilla deployment on the range units, plus 25% ambush chance. Or get with him the river to help Liu Bu do damage. That's probably a better idea. They're not out of range yet. We can get another fight and get more um, intimidation. Did he learn that skill yet? No. This is the one. White water, infinite range, uh, always increase cooldown. Basically, he stays out of fights. Enemy generals can't use abilities. It's, it's pretty broken. But he doesn't have that yet. So we're gonna grab this fight. Okay, so we're at this fight. 50% chance to capture him again. We're just gonna delegate this one. Oh, we don't want night battle. We want to drag the other battle, other group in as well. We'll delegate. All right. Let's see if we capture it or get any more items. Nope. We'll just heal. Okay, we're also in Liu Bei's land now, so actually we can heal more. 
We're gonna pull these guys towards Liu Bu just so that they can be safe with them. Let's see, anything else? Yeah, there's quite a few more characters in court that we could hire. We should probably spend a little time just looking into them. Could be a spy. Yeah, quiet and female. Worth hiring, to be honest. No, none of these are that impressive. It's a modest. That's pretty good for cheap units. He's actually pretty good. But he might be a spy. That's the only thing. Hou Jun. Uh, not interested. Zhuge Ningfang. So so. Yeah, no one really catches my eye except for that potential spy. But we have so many potential spies right now that we're just hoarding. That I don't really see a reason why. Actually, we didn't really look at their items. Although I don't think any of them have any good items. Just because the portrait doesn't show any cool armor. We could sue for peace with Cao Cao again. Throw him a eunuch. Uh, that was the tradition in our Huang Shao campaign. Where we kind of stubbed the fact that his grandfather was a eunuch. Let's see. We can have one more assignment. Probably want more income. We should think about building stuff. Alright, we want adjacency corruption reduction for sure. And that's the same case here. Same case he no wait, Jincheng might be pure income. Hmm, Jincheng, let's see. Do you neighbor anyone significant? I think you can just let your neighbor service you and you can just focus on income. Then they can give us an industrialist. And we're poor all of a sudden. Right. All of a sudden we have no cash. Taiyuan. Uh, we're still going to build up Taiyuan. For sure. We have one open assignment. Let's see who's making us the most money right now. Chang'an. Oh, Chang'an has no one working here. Industry, so very balanced industry commerce. We can do the. There's one with uh, commanders and uh, some sentinels that can do both, both income upgrade. We might not have anyone who have that assignment. Yep, we don't have anyone with that assignment. Oh well, then probably not gonna put anyone here. Three sixty four seventy five. Not that great. Uh, next commandery, Jincheng. Yeah, this is good. 510 total for... Yeah, but we have someone working here already. We'll do next. Also a good commerce boost. Already someone on it. Hanzhong is next. Uh, Hanzhong needs some work. Okay. Anding. Wow. Taiyuan's ready really really good just because of the industry income. Let's boost that a little bit more. Who's a happy camper here? Alright, he's a happy camper. There we go. So we popped in the assignments. We still have a few armies that can be moved. They're waiting for rebels. It will happen, don't worry. Military crackdown still going down. Right, this army. This army is interesting because we're trying to get Sun Tzu back alive and on the field before we fight them. So we can just play follow them. We have military access with them, so we're not worried that they will run away. Because we want his seal. Alright, Sun Ren's army. They need to get back onto the battlefield basically they're kind of stuck in behind enemy lines uh we'll just continue to march out i guess we'll go meet Lubu's army over here 
and then they can contribute to our war effort. That's it. I think we're good. I hope the court gets fixed next turn. How much? Still too much. I don't really care about they'll die. I do want to vassalize them. Alright, we can do it. We're at 64, so spending 30 is the same thing. Uh, why is Ma Chao not single? You guys are hoarding him. We'll take money. Well, they're no longer that rich. They're, they're loaded. They're not paying us. We'll just take frontal cash then. Upfront cash so that we can maybe build something. Oh, come on. There we go. Yes, peace out, please. Oh, what? Uh, awkward. 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 That was really awkward. Because all of a sudden we are at war with <laughs> Shixie. Oh, come on. We wanted to peace out with them. I, for I didn't know they were at war with the High Empire. There goes our goodwill. Mm. Oh, whatever. If we have to fight, we fight. We crush them. Still a no? We'll be too into it. Well, we're at war with Liu Dai and uh, Shi Xie now. Even though that's not our intention. Let me think. What can we do? We might need to reconsider what this army is doing then. We might actually want to fight them now. Yeah, let's just wipe them out. We'll delegate this. We'll also delegate the town fight because we need to replenish. There we go. Get income. We'll take this trade port. Oh, tough fight. That's fine. As long as we win. <gasps> I made a mistake. Oh no. I could have got our leader killed. That was two back to back fights. Ah, we missed a chance. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. We'll occupy. Oh, I missed a good chance to get our leader killed. But I don't know if our, intim our intimidation can take it. We actually need our economy. We need to be in a safer position before we take such a drastic measures. Um, that's fine. Fine. That's fine. We'll be at war with Shixie. He has an army right next to our spice port. <laughs> I want to cry. All right, we might as well cancel it. Get the cash back. We're going to lose it. Uh, we need to heal. We need another army. That's what we need. We need another army here. Mm. Alright, Tal Pete, time to... On assignment. Okay. I want to I put him to good use. I want to put him to good use. He's pretty good. Fa I want to put Fa Zhong to good use, too. Alright, let's... Take him... And we'll take we'll take a strategist so we have formations. And then we'll take We might take an oh we kinda want Tall P I guess. We can go cancel Tall P's assignment and add him in next turn. Where's our any 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 city would do? Alright, Talpi, where are you? You're done. He was at Chengdu. Okay, so we're gonna put someone new at Chengdu soon. We're gonna pop a new army here. 
Okay, neither one have reach. That's fine. We'll still have him lead. And we're going to run a more cavalry heavy army with some range unit support. And then team up with our leader. And they can deal with the enemies together. There we go. Alright, it's about time we wipe out Shrisia. I convinced myself. We'll take everything south of the Pearl River and then push in afterward. We can definitely afford another army right now, too. Our leader leveled up. Hmm. They can get night battle. That helps. Extra, um... I hate how this, this thing right now is... Alright, when, uh, uh, when you have it on diplomacy... It blocks out the X. All right, we have 6,000. I might save it. I might need the money for the new army. That's the only situation I'm thinking about right now. I also need to upgrade this. Yeah, it's only 2,500. We can do that. Anything that's urgent. I really want this, but that's too pricey. Yeah, we'll save the rest. We need the cash for the army. All right, I think we're good. Uh, we're holding back Koron just fine, and this army is going to hold back Yuan Shao and counterattack as soon as we can find their ambush army. And we definitely can crush the central plains with Lu Bu and Sun Ren's groups. So let's continue. Interesting. So Cao Cao's last army is initiating the attack on our two officers, knowing that Liu Bu can't reinforce because the AI think they'll win. Huh. We'll take the fight. All right, we're loaded up into the fight. A few situations. Our reinforcements coming behind their army, which is a little awkward. Um, the good thing is, guerrilla deployment are our most important general, Sima Yi. So we're going to put him where our reinforcements coming. And our poor girl here is just going to stand and be a bait. Um, I don't. We can't guerrilla deploy our deployables, so we're still going to put them here for no reason. We can set up a trap, I guess. Or we can put the... I mean, the fire is still going to burn even in the rain. Hold on, I'm going to put them... A little bit more to the back side. I want to leave some room for spikes. And it might be wise to double stack them, because... I've seen the cavalry uh, just charge through one. The frontal unit dies and that's it. We'll just sit pretty. Let's go. Alright, here comes help. Alright, we need to get everyone shifting to this hill right here. Oh, they're firing our general with trebuchet. Go for it. Waste your ammo. Oh, they're going for the towers. That's fine, too. Here comes our main force. Alright, get everyone, get moving. Is she? They can auto-fire, I don't really care. Um, preferably, we are want to be on this hill, but I don't think we can have time to get there. So we're just going to go closer. One. Come on out. Three. Wrong side. Hide in the forest, actually. Are there trebuchets still firing? Well, I'm going to stay put until we burn the fire. 
They can't, they're missing so badly against our arrow tower. Well, the cavalry's on both sides. We've got to figure out a way to break through. Almost time. It'd be funny if they lighted up themselves. Ooh, they got a clean hit. Alright, time to go. Light this up. Light this up. Say goodbye. Hide behind the spikes to get the cavalry to bait the cavalry into it. Why are they not charging more? You're not supposed to see the fire. You're supposed to just charge blindly into it. There we go. See, the design philosophy is if the AI can see the fire and always avoid it perfectly, then deployable is kind of useless. Which makes sense, but the counterfact is if they just blindly walk into it, they just look dumb. And right now they just they just look dumb. Well they're kinda of avoiding it. Okay, so once they get into contact but this group look at this group. Look at this Look at this poor guy. They literally sent two thousand men to capture her. And we're gonna we're gonna be able to run out of a gap right here yeah we'll get we'll, we'll take a hit we'll get hit but oh come on let us charge through there you go let us get through look at that look at that and then all we have to do is use them as a charge target and then charge that target too oh they took our they took our arrow towers good for them they lost so many men look at that Oh, the fire finally burned out. Right, these guys will actually hit back. These guys won't. Uh, now we just have to wait. Oh, we're getting shot at. Are we getting shot at? No, we're not. They don't see us. Even if they see us, we're out of range. Yeah, we're out of range. We didn't get smashed, right? Yeah, we didn't get smashed. We're good. I was like, he turned around, but he's not firing at us. Anyways, we're going to make sure they don't fire at us. It's like the AI picked the dumbest fight to fight our two generals without night battle and have us flank them with our main army. And then Samayi has guerrilla deployment. Which takes out basically their two tribuches. Alright, Lipu can come help. She's too slow. They're going to be able to hit us soon. Come on, red hair. Oh my god, how far away are you? Oh, the enemy cavalry are coming. They're gonna fire, they're gonna fire. Can we stop that? Our poor guys, our poor guys. Oh, they missed. Okay. Okay, they missed. Ooh. All right, can we get out? We can leave now, guys. We can just leave. Oh, she's in trouble. <sighs> Lipo's gonna have to clean this part up. 
Alright, we will just have to outrun them. Because he has a better horse. She just have to get back. We have enough ammo, yeah. We can just fire randomly. We have three burn buffs, 23 ammo shots. Just random fire. We'll get Lubu out of here. Now, I wonder if that group can pick up these machine. Like, is, is the ammo on the machine or on the unit? I think it's on the unit, so the unit's out of ammo. We can kill you even without health. Does she not understand this? Look at her health. Look at her health drop. No, no, we're not dueling you right now. We're gonna just kill you. I mean, the AI is also stupid for not hitting back, but what can she do against Liu Bu? Just toiling with her. One more hit and she's gone. Get her. There we go. Alright, we don't want to get engaged by these tiger and leopards. Those can kill us. If they come after us, we just gotta run. We're gonna run to the spikes. Is the spike still alive? Yeah, spike's still alive. Can't really see. Camera angle's limited. Alright, the enemy cavalry are hiding in this forest. So is our cavalry. We're gonna rush those guys soon. It's okay, we'll let them hit us for a little bit. Oh, they found us. Well, time for us to kill them then. Let's see, are the spikes still up? I can use the spikes to protect myself. Yep, so what we're going to do is have him go here. Uh, let's see, back to these guys. Nope, not wasting time dueling you guys. It's going to go crush into these crossbowmen. Alright, straight charge then. He's going to fire at us. And then one more on the back. Split half-half. So apparently you can throw these after they engage and they just sit on them for the whole time. Alright, we'll go use our Wisdom of the River debuff for the first time. And then we're going to give our troop extra melee invasion. We're going to drop their armor. Alright, our cavalry routed their range units. Now we can flank charge their other units. How's Lubu doing? Alright, we're just sitting pretty here. Very safe. Alright, four. We are charge. Kind of absorb the attention of these guys. This group needs help, basically. Let's go shift. Alright, we'll do the rear charge on that unit. Our sea down officers in their very, very cool looking sea down clothes. There we go. Regroup. Charge number two. Charge number three. All right. This group is finally back. They must be really tired running back and forth. 
Oh. Enemy officers. Enemy officers? Can't let them just whack us. We'll debuff them again. That's a win, right? No, not yet. There we go. All right, that was fun. Alrighty. That was stupidity on Cao Cao's part. We'll take money this time since I don't think there's any enemies around. There goes our poor spice market. Um, I don't think we can win this even if we try. They have a trebuchet too. Yeah, we're just going to surrender it. Okay, so new turn. We lost the spice market. We want energetic. Okay, so we're probably going to end our episode here. Let's pull this out. Uh, main development. Let's see. Did our court go back to normal? No, it didn't. Uh, this bug. I hate this bug. Okay, that kind of ruins a lot of the game. We basically don't have access to a regular court. Because we, we're no longer Empire. We dissolved it. Right, diplomatically... If we look at grouping, we're no longer considered an a Empire. We're basically in the No Alliance category. That's really dumb. Okay, I mean... That's the th deal with new patches mid-campaign. But anyways, um, regardless of that, we are currently at war with everyone on the map except for our vassals, uh, Jia Long's old faction, Han Empire, Liu Bei, and Yuan Yao. Uh, what we're going to do uh, going forward is finish off Korong's armies here and retake the Iron Mine in Taiyuan. And I think Yuan Shao's army actually snuck by. So that's a bit of a headache. They're going towards our fishing port. We can probably try to force a peace deal with them or something. Uh, we're going to try to counterattack, obviously. We could also lose the fishing port. It's not that important. Uh, we'll figure out what to do with this situation uh, next episode. Uh, we'll probably either have this army push them out and then sign a peace treaty. Somehow we want peace. We want peace with these factions. And then over here, we're completely dominating. Uh, we can wipe out Cao Cao's force, grab Nanyang, and then head over here and crush the rest of the central plain pretty easily uh, with Surin's army out as well. She can actually lead the way. She can wipe out the rest of the Tai Mao's force uh, while Li Bu cleans up over here. Uh, farther down south, we're going to recruit a new army to respond to Shi Xie, who is st starting to steal our land. And we're going to send this group down too. Our first priority is grab everything south of the Pearl River. And then we'll launch into an invasion in the north. Shouldn't be very hard. Uh, Sun Jian's armies are pretty sparsely uh, placed. Uh, Sun Quan has an army here. They just landed. But Liu Bei also has an army here. I don't know if they will help us to defend the weapon craftsmen. But I hope they do. Because there's no reason why he should be going this way. We can also use uh, targeting to kind of guide our vassals on who to attack. So we'll probably use that next turn. Um, that's the game so far. Kind of really regret our empire decision. Now it's really messed up our court. But anyways, uh, it's looking pretty hopeful. It's going to be a slow grind towards this kingdom of Wu. But once we get there with our vassal territory, we definitely have over 95 land. And it'll be over quite quickly. Uh, perhaps we could just stall in the north while Lu Bu and Sun Ren uh, storm straight for the capital. That could probably end this campaign faster, ease our pain, and we can focus on a new Mandate of Heaven DLC campaign once that fully drops on the 16th. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and see you all next time. Bye!